Hello everyone, I want to speak to you today about the events in America and around the world following the death of George Floyd. And I want to emphasise that what I'm saying here is not about the Black Lives Matter movement and whether it supports the boycott of Israel or not. I'm not talking here about the rioting and the rights and wrongs of looting or putting statues down. I'm not talking here about that anarchic, opportunistic element that takes advantage of the chaos around the protests. I'm not talking here about the bitter and tragic irony of those protesters who graffiti our synagogues, break the windows of our shuls, and desecrate our holy Sifri Torah in the name of anti-racism. I'm not talking here about whether George Floyd did or didn't resist arrest, what the policeman who killed him thought, or why that happened. I'm not addressing here making sociological comments about the state of American politics or civil rights there or indeed in the UK. I'm not an expert on any of these. I don't think my views on any of these matters really make a difference. And I recognise that these matters are nuanced, complex and political, and sometimes perhaps even for court of law to decide. What I want to say to you today is much simpler. A human being died. A whole community, a minority, feel under attack, feel discriminated against, despised. They feel hopeless, helpless, hated, and too often without support. And if we are honest, no matter how complicated the story, no matter what the history is, they are not wrong. So what can we do? What can we do? How can we, we make a difference? And again, I'm not making a political statement here. We can improve ourselves, but to do that, we ne need to recognize some truths. Firstly, and most importantly, we're talking about our black brothers and sisters, fellow human beings created with Selem Elohim in our language, in the image of God. This isn't a zero-sum game here of suffering, as if acknowledging their suffering diminishes our own difficult Jewish experiences. It's not about one-upmanship, who has suffered more, or who has dealt with it better. It's about fellow human beings. It's about our attitudes, words we still use, jokes we still tell, comments we still make, insensitivities we still display. The Torah calls upon us to be kadoshim, holy. V'asisem hayoshor v'atoiv, the Torah tells us. We should do that which is straight and good, to be an example of morality, of care and compassion, to see human life as infinitely valuable, and to see human dignity as equally so, to hurt when others are hurting, irrespective of whether they belong to another race, orientation, or religion. It's about hearing the anguished cries of people who fear, who fear those in uniform, those in positions of power and authority. And anyone who knows our Jewish history knows that this is something we too have known about in our history. But then we need to stop and think about the weak, the vulnerable, those who are different, the other, who perhaps fear us, who don't trust us, who don't feel we care about them. I mentioned already human dignity, kavod habriot in Hebrew, a halachic principle, a Jewish value of utmost importance. Every single being, every single human being, deserves kavod, respect, appreciation for the outstanding, wonderful, individual human being they are, the unique person that they are. The Mishnah teaches us, it asks why is it that the Torah tells us, that all human beings were created from one ancestor, Adam. Why didn't God perhaps create us from several ancestors? And the Mishnah answers, so that no person can turn to another and say, my ancestor was greater than yours. For all of us to recognize as human beings that we have a father and mother in common. We are ultimately 
brothers and sisters. You know, every nation, every people tell national stories about themselves. I mentioned this before Pesach. Perhaps if you're British, we talk about the Battle of Hastings, the Magna Carta. If you're America, maybe you speak about the values of liberty, the founding fathers, the constitution. But the story that we Jews tell about ourselves is that we were once slaves in Egypt. To be a Jew is to be an ex-slave. To be a Jew is someone who knows or should know what suffering is about. To be a Jew is to be able to walk through life and see those who are alone, who are vulnerable, who are feeling helpless and feel we are kindred spirits. The Torah tells us again and again, love the vulnerable, the weak, care for those who are alone, who are helpless, because you were once weak, vulnerable, alone and helpless at the time of our founding in Egypt. And we're meant to relive that again and again on Pesach, through so many mitzvahs and commandments. Every day when we say the Shema, we're meant to remind ourselves of where we come from as human beings and use that to reinforce our empathy with others who are going through a tough time. So what does this mean in practice? We need to call out racism, both within our own community and beyond. We need to read, to learn, and perhaps most importantly, to listen so that we can understand and empathize with the experience of others. And we need ourselves to avoid racism or even inadvertently causing upset through a lack of understanding. Here in the school, we're definitely going to face, place greater emphasis on trying to share more resources, more ideas, thinking more about the narratives, the experiences, hearing those of others. In the email that we sent out this week, it's going to include links to various resources. And we're going to be getting in speakers to speak to you about their own life stories, some of the things that they went through that perhaps we haven't listened to enough in the past. I want to stress this isn't about guilt or blame. It's not about jumping on others. It's simply about reflecting on our own views, checking to see if we have any prejudices, or if we sometimes behave with a lack of sympathy, empathy, or understanding, or basic consideration for others. This isn't again about politics. It's not about a particular political party or platform. It's simply about being a decent human being and living up to the standards of humanity and Judaism in our care and respect for others. Please don't stay silent. Don't feel like you can't talk about this because you're not black. Call out racist views. Racist views. If you hear a family member or a friend being racist, challenge it. The past three months of our lives have made tremendous sacrifice precisely because we value human life infinitely. And this is absolutely correct in Jewish and halachic values. Pekuach nefesh, the value of a human life, trumps almost everything else in the Torah. Not just Jewish life, but the life of all human beings. So let's take these difficult, painful events of the last few weeks as a reminder, yet again, that we can and must do better in this area. So dear students, I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and that all of us can use what's a very painful time in global history to reflect and emerge a little better. And I wish you Shabbat Shalom. Have a great week. Be well. Look after yourselves.